Greetings from LH English Academy. Dear friends, welcome to this TRB PG English 2020 Success Strategy Series. In this video, I am going to discuss the 8th unit approaches to literature. For the PG TRB exam, students are getting in approaches to literature. The Ramba Kashtamana unit in Solvanga. Yena Michaela unit to me, author Rupanga, work Rupo, and the work a deeper Padistangana in the question all answer Panilla. And in the approaches to literature Matu, Yepudi Padikra, the Kritisatil and the Padikra, where the Lend the Padikra, Yenna Padikino, Abdingra, Migapuri of Kodapur, Vienna, specifica, Edo, whatever book Abdin Kadaya. நீங்க நோட்ஸ் வாங்கி பாத்தீங்க அப்படினாலும் வேற நிறைய books இருக்குதுல நோட்ஸ் வாங்கி பாத்தீங்கனாலும் இந்த யூனிட்டுக்கு மட்டும் கொஞ்சம் வேகா சரியா நோட்ஸ் இருக்காது பட் फ्रॉम மை எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் லெட் மீ டெல் யூ இந்த யூனிட்டோட past 2 years question analysis இந்த வீடியோல பண்ணி இருக்கேன் இத பாக்கும்போது ரொம்ப சிம்பிளா strategically நீங்க prepare பண்ணீங்கனா out of 10 questions அதுல நீங்க ஒரு 6 7 questions வந்து ஈஸியா போட்டுலாம் this is the most important thing about the competitive exams. One question is decided. So, in this case, if you prepare a unit of unit, you will be ahead of others. This is the analysis of 2019 and 2017 questions. Approaches to literature unit, unit are 8 topics. This is the maximum questions. Topic 4 Literary Criticism and Theory, Topic 5 Feminism, and Topic 8 Postmodernism. If you have a group, you will have many questions. This is the most Topic 4 Literary Criticism and Theory is Feminism and Postmodernism. So, you will prepare literary criticism classical age, that is Plato, Aristotle, Horace. That is the F.R. Lewis is the classical criticism age. That is the 1900 age. You will see modernism, postmodernism, structuralism, poststructuralism, archetypal criticism. That is the long list. So, in the classical age, modern age, you will see the theories. What is what? You will see the questions in the maximum questions. For example, what are you doing in the center? Fourth topic or importance uh, understand pani and the topic matto motha 15 uh, different videos are and the classical age or the modern age variety. So if I if I am precise, just at least uh, 10 questions or uh, seven questions from 2019 leon 2017 le like, eight plus six questions so easy answer pandra mari existing materials le irukku innum sila questions vandu pudusa 2019 la ketirukanga adanal and the authors based konjam videos vandu ready panni kuduthirukom ipo mukkiyamana enna appadina idhila modern age modern fiction adukaga nama vittra mudiyadhu so vidama enna pannanum appadina konjam information collect pannanum literary movements paathinga appadina 45 different Different moments are there. At least 20 moments British English literature is very important. That is the theory of English. Teaching of English in India. This is the language unit. Unit 9 is the same as the unit. This is the unit. In the unit, there is a video Teaching of English in India. That is the topic. That is the journalism and creative writing. This is the obscure topic. இது throughout the world இல்லை நான் இந்தியாவில் மட்டுமாம் அப்படியுங்கள் doubt இருக்கு இருந்தாலும் என்ன different agesல என்ன newspapers, journals வந்திருக்கு அப்படியுங்கள் பத்தி ஒரு list குடுத்திருக்குறாம் so இப்போம் இந்த unit வந்து ரம்ப difficult திரிந்தாலும் நீங்கள் topic 4 மட்டும் systematic prepare பண்ணிட்டீங்க அப்படினா more than 50% questions easy answer பண்ணிலாம் அது போக அந்த modern drama fiction literary movements இதையும் கொஞ்சு நல்லா பார்த்துகிட்டீங்கே அப்படினா definitely இதில வந்து ஒரு 60 to 70 percentage questions எவ்வளவு கஷ்டமா கேட்டாலும் நீங்கள் கண்டிப்பா answer பண்ணிரலாம் அப்படிதான் நாங்கள் எங்க students prepare பண்ணிருக்கும் now let's enter into the questions so this is one of the questions James Augustus an Englishman started the first English newspaper in India actually that is missing in India so, Indian Gazette, Bengal Gazette, Calcutta Gazette, Madras Courier. 
So the given answer is Bengal Gazette. This is the only question that is related to journalism and a newspaper. Next question. What according to James Thurber is the quality which certain words and phrases have of suggesting a theme song like Heaven Lily O oh Mine? So the options given are thematology, tautology, thematic potentiality and telology. So here uh, first we have to know who is James Thurber. James Thurber is an American cartoonist, author, humorist, journalist, playwright, children's book author and celebrated knowledgeable person. So he was best known for his cartoons and short stories published mainly in the New Yorker magazine such as the Catbird Seat. So that is the magazine in which regularly he publishes. So he belongs to the postmodern era. So in postmodern era, mostly the symbols are given more importance. That is one of the qualities of postmodern era and people are uh, giving importance to individuality. So the answer for this question is thematic potentiality. So this is the most difficult question because tracing the answer for this question is very very difficult. Since you have come across this writer James Thurber in the question become familiar with this writer a little bit more then uh, if any question is asked later to this you can answer. Third one Poets are the heroines of an unapprehended inspiration. Heroines refer to very difficult question even to read. Guardians, painters, priests, physicians. So all of a sudden a definition like this or a quote like this when it is given it is really difficult to answer. Actually let me give you who wrote this particular line. It is by Shelley. He has written a piece called Defense of Poetry in which he uses this particular statement. Normally Shelley is identified as a poet whereas he has written some critical pieces also from which this particular line is taken. So from this what do we understand? As a critic you have to know something more about Shelley. So here uh, coming to the point Harofans refer to Priest. So that is the answer. Fourth one. Dash was the first novelist to lay stress wholly upon character rather than incident to make her stories spiritual rather than physical dramas. The options are George Eliot, Virginia Woolf, Emily Bronte, Jane Austen. So the point is all are female novelists all belong to Victorian age. So the thing is this particular statement is made by Compton Rickett. This particular statement is made by Compton Rickett about Victorian novelists especially George Eliot. So Virginia Woolf she, uh, she is completely of a different she is a feminist something like that. In the Bronte brothers sisters they are of different type and Jane Austen and George Eliot between the two specifically this person Compton Rickett is pointing out George Eliot in this line and one more thing so how to add more to this since this particular question is asked so you have to become familiar with the critical aspects of all these four writers number one number two who is this person? Compton, Rickett, collect more information about this person. Fifth one. Ellen Showalter classifies the bulk of women's writing into three phases. Options feminine, feminist and female, female, feminine and feminist. Feminine, female and feminist and feminist, feminine and female. Right. So everyone knows that there are three phases like that, three phases of feminist writing. So now uh, Ellen Showalter, how does, how does she say? It is better to memorize the definition given by Ellen Showalter. Let me give you the definition. Ellen Showalter calls the first phase as feminine span, feminine, in which the duration is 1842 
1880. So this is the phase in which imitation women writers like uh, George Eliot wrote with male pseudonyms. So first feminine, so female writers were not accepted at all. As a result, most of the women writers, they wrote in the name of males. So that is the first phase which is known as feminine phase. Second phase, the second phase as the feminist phase. Feminist phase is political we would say. The duration is 1880 to 1920. So the phase of protest it is called. It is a political phase we will say. So this is the phase in which women won voting rights. Please remember between 1880 and 1920 women protested against the male domination. First important thing is they won the voting rights. The third phase it is the female phase. The duration is between 1920 and around uh, 1960 till that. So this is the phase in which women's writing entered a new phase of self-preservation. So look at that. So the based on this definition, feminine, so women in which women hid their identity, feminist in which women they fought for their rights, especially they won the voting right. Third one, female phase in which they have strongly established as individual writers. The female writers across the world, they started publishing in their own name. They created their own space in feminist writing. So the answer is A. Sixth one, David Lodge tried to combine the ideas of structuralism with more traditional approaches in dash. So there are uh, four options. Three options are the titles of the book. Whereas one option is not the title of the book, but it is an article. So the first let me give you the answer. David Lodge has written working with structuralism. So that is the answer. Then structuralist poetics is written by Jonathan Culler. Structuralism and semiotics it is written by Terence Hawkes. Then structuralism in literature, it is an article. Right. Fine. So how to prepare further based on that? Since these things have appeared as question or as options, you have to collect more information about Jonathan Kallar as he written more books like the Terence Hawkes. So you please collect more ideas about this particular person and their works. Seventh one. A postmodernist dash fragmentation. Does he worry about lamentation? It, does he lament or celebrate, abhor or restrict? Of course, postmodernism gives more importance to individuality. It accepts and it celebrates. So option B is the answer. So this particular question is the most simple question because it directly comes from the definition of postmodernism. There is a separate title on postmodernism. So become familiar with that. So become familiar with the postmodern movement also. Eight. The influential book Dash tells us that for the study of the history of ideas, a really dead writer is better than one who works or whose works are still enjoyed. So look at the four options given. The great memory, great expectations, the great chain of being, the great tradition. Of the four options, one option is completely irrelevant because this is the question based on theory, right? So one question is completely irrelevant. That is the great chain, that is great expectations because it is a novel by Dickens. You please remove it. So the remaining thing, the great tradition is written by F.R. Lewis. So when you study F.R. Lewis, definitely you will come across that. So the remaining two options. So the great memory is written by Karan Markwish and Eric Jennison. The only remaining option is the book, The Great Chain of Being. So that is the answer for this question. And one more thing, 
the author of the great chain of being is author o love joy author a r t h o r author o love joy so in this book he points out three principles like plentitude continuity and graduation for which he is uh, comparing the right works of plato aristotle and other writers so the important thing is become familiar with all the writers that i mentioned so that for structuralist ideas questions based on structuralism you can be prepared next one in one way it is really the easy question match the following anti heroes with their novels probably this question from the modern fiction look at the characters first leopold bloom willy loman jimmy porter james dixon definitely you might have studied willy loman right willy loman is the character from death of a salesman so definitely b answer b for b option 1 is the answer so just uh, look at the all, all the four options so two options have look at the b two options like uh, d and uh, b b and d so you remove option a and option c see even if you know one particular uh, match here definitely you can uh, narrow down two options easily then afterwards leopold um, bloom he is the character in ulysses james joyce ulysses so when you study the modern writers modern novelist definitely you will come across the title ulysses and uh, you will come across the protagonist uh, leopold bloom so that is the answer the match then jimmy porter so option uh, c it's uh, option is 4 jimmy porter is the character from look back in anger so it was written by john james osborne so then uh, james dixon that is the only option available is a character from lucky jim lucky jim is working as a junior lecturer in that particular novel right so the thing is when you when you prepare for the movements and modern fiction for that topic you will come across so many writers when you come across so many writers like that they important novels and their protagonist name you can remember if you remember like that i have questions like this can be easily approached so the option is d question number 10 identify the source that develops a distinction between apollonian and dionysian cultures these are the two terms who introduced that or in which work it comes So it comes from uh, Carl Jung's Psychology of the Unconscious, Jesse Weston's uh, From Ritual to Romance, James Fraser's The Golden Bow, Ruth Benedict's Pattern of Culture. Of course, this is one of the difficult questions. So the, let me give you the answer. It is option D, Ruth Benedict's Pattern of Culture. Let me give you more information about this writer. So this is the work published in 1934. Ruth Benedict is the American anthropologist whose theories had a profound influence on cultural anthropology especially in the area of culture and personality this particular writer comes under the category cultural theories so there is a topic you know literary criticism and theory so in that theory all important theories have to be studied from structuralism post structuralism modernism post modernism all these theories if you become familiar with if you become familiar with all the writers related to those things definitely you can be better prepared if you compare 2017 question with 2019 question 2017 question is relatively easy but at the same time in 2017 there were only eight direct questions from this unit whereas in 2019 there were 10 questions first which one of the following is an exponent of postmodern writing so you definitely you know jacques derrida so roland barthes is a structuralist mikhail bakhtin also is a structuralist and claude levi strauss structural anthropologist so from this what you have to remember you know so definitely all these four writers 
should be studied well. Repeatedly, these words, these names are surface in the questions. So become familiar with Derrida, Roland Barthes, Michel Bakhtin, and Claude Levi Strauss. Next one, the French philosopher. Dash lecture at the 1966 conference at John Hopkins University is considered to be the manifesto against structuralism. So definitely all students will answer this question. So it is Jacques Derrida's work. He read a paper titled Structure, Sign and Play which was considered as the manifesto against structuralism. Question number three. Feminist criticism is a specific kind of political discourse, a critical and theoretical approach committed to the struggle against the patriarchy and sexism. It is a definition about feminism. Whose words are these? The given options are Simandi Bua, Virginia Woolf, Kate Millett, Toril Moy. Simandi Bua, you know, she has written The Second Sex, Virginia Woolf, The Room of One's Own, that is a, a repeatedly studied in different exams, Keith Millet, Troy Moy. Actually, this particular definition is by Toril Moy. She has written this definition in her book, Feminist Literary Criticism, Modern Literary Theory. She has written a book titled like this, in which this particular definition is available. So better become familiar with all these four feminist writers. The fourth question. The term simulacrum, so this is the term you have to remember, simulacrum, where the real is replaced by its shadow was first used by. So actually to answer this question, understanding this word simulacrum is very very important. It is an image or representation of something, of something, it is about uh, symbolism. So the important thing is, repeatedly in most of my videos, I have been stressing that you have to prepare only in English. So then only you will become familiar with the meanings of as many words as possible related to the subject. Then if these words occur in your question, you can easily understand the question. So because understanding the question is the first step to answer any question. So coming to the point, the term similar crumb which means symbolism, where the real is replaced by its shadow was first used by Roland Barthes, Jean Baudrillard, Jean Francois Leon and Jacques Lacan. So the answer is Jean Baudrillard. Actually, Simulacra and Simulation is a book which was published in 1981. So in this book, the author seeks to examine the relationship between reality, symbols and society. In particular, the significations and symbolism of culture and media. So the important thing is, it is the postmodern idea. Jean Baldrard is a postmodern writer in which he is talking about the use of symbols and symbolism in the work. The fifth question Match the following, Kate Millett, Sandra Gilbert, Mary Elman, Ellen Showalter, all people are feminist. So this particular question comes under the category of feminism. Already one question was there, this is the second question. So at least the important works you know, Kate Millett has written sexual politics and Sandra Gilbert, she has written The Mad Woman in the Attic. Mary Elman has written Thinking About Women. Ellen Showalter has written A Literature of Their Own. These are the important works given by or written by the authors. So from this what we can understand the authors and uh, their important works can solve at least a few questions. So another important thing is what I observed in the question was the title of the books were not given in italics. If it is given in italics, definitely you will come to know it is a book 
then uh, at least there will be a more possibility of uh, answering the questions easily so even if it is given without italicization you have to identify it is a title of the book so that you can answer in a better way again uh, match the following so this is also based on the author and their ideas jacques derrida terry eagleton ferdinand de saussure maud uh, bonkin first one uh, jacques derrida he is a post structuralist terry eagleton he is a marxist ferdinand de saussure he is the structuralist actually you have to study like that ferdinand uh, de saussure structuralist after him only jacques derrida comes post structuralism then maud uh, bunkin he is an archetypal uh, critic so that is the answer option b is the answer seventh one again match again this is also based on the classical criticism so if you study the classical critics so definitely you can easily answer aristotle you know poetics longinus longinus without any thought you can uh, use longinus means on sublime then uh, horace horace is known for ars poetica it is the book by horace dante divine comedy so basic knowledge about the writers and their works can help you to answer the questions eighth one who among the following is not an irish playwright actually the title modern drama help you to get this point because there is a series of irish uh, playwrights so one by one uh, they come the last of irish playwright is g b shaw and w b yeats so john galsworthy he is an english playwright so if you know this basic idea you would have easily answer this question dear friends poduva students na erkanave point out panna mari in the topic da romba kashtama irukku eppadi questions varudhune theriyala engra mari feel pannirukanga you need not worry about it na erkanave kudutha tips padi ipo irukra options la irundhe nare information collect pannunga or 60 to 70% questions vandu neenga easy a handle pannirala idu poga ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வந்து ஏதாவது புக்ஸ் இருந்தால் சஜஸ்ட் பண்ணுங்க அப்படிம்பாங்க காம்படிட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம்ஸ்க்கு மட்டும் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக்காக ஒரு புக்கை டிபெண்ட் பண்ணி இருக்கக்கூடாது அப்படி இருந்தீங்க அப்படின்னா நீங்கள் வந்து எக்ஸ்ட்ரா படிக்க மாட்டீங்க இருக்கிறத படிச்சுட்டு யூ ட்ரை டு கலெக்ட் ஆஸ் மச் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஆஸ் பாசிபிள் தட்ஸ் ஹவ் வி ஹாவ் ப்ரிப்பேர்ட் அவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் கிவன் ஆஸ் மச் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஆஸ் பாசிபிள் இன் த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் வீடியோ ஸோ டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இஃப் யூ ஃபீல் இட் வுட் பி அப்ரோப்ரியேட் டு ஜாயின் அவர் கோர்ஸ் feel free to call us in the given number thank you all the best please share this video and subscribe to our channel so that you will get more free videos thank you all the best